All right, so now we are going to build some columns. The columns is the third tab here, and the columns are essentially just the individual pieces of data. So this would be anything from price to name to URL. So all you'll do is go ahead and begin building individual column cards. So let's go ahead and give the first input field something. So that is name. So let's say we want to extract the, uh, the URL. So you'll put that as your name and then the extraction type. Rather than text, we will select URL. And then once again, with the find tool, we're going to select that. And then we're going to hover. And instead of capturing an entire container, this is when we go after the specific piece of data. So now if we want to get the URL, that's typically either in the image or in a topic's name or a product's name. So now let's hit shift. And as you can see, we have a few classes. Um, so we have one class and one element type. Um, typically, if you're looking for a URL, it's always going to be within an A tag. So that's something to keep in mind. So we see an A tag, or sorry, an A element. So since we have that, we can try that, but it looks like we have multiple. So rather than doing that, remember we need something specific. So let's do the class headline, which is great. It's capturing just the person's name. So now we can do confirm, and we can actually double check our work by clicking on the four here. And as you can see, we have the four URLs. And this is just a, a little eyeball preview area you can click on for all your individual columns. So let's go ahead and move on to the second column. Let's say we want to just get the name this time. So put name and for extract type, that will just be text at this point since it's just text off the, the web page. And then we'll do the find button. And once again, we'll hover and tap shift. And once again, we have the headline and we'll press confirm. And let's say we do one more just for a different example. So we'll give this a name and let's say we want to do the image. So we'll do image and then rather than text, we'll extract the image URL and we'll hit the find button. And once again, we, with our mouse, we'll hover and then on our keyboard, we will hit shift. And it looks like we do not have any options there. Well, so maybe that was a bad hover. So let's try that again. So we'll hover and hit shift. Great, so now we have this class called person image. That looks much better. So let's confirm. And now we have an image URL. Perfect. So now we can close out of that preview. And that is pretty much it for the columns video. Um, we'll go ahead and move on to the next video and that will be the nav and actions. All right, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon.